Hello and welcome to my channel, How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be on my freshly waxed truck. Today is May 8th. I washed it and waxed it today. I wash it twice a month. I wax it three times a year. And on one of those waxes, which is on its anniversary date, I do a clay bar. So I wash it, clay bar it, and wax it. Once a month, I do a spray wax. I'm a Meguiar's car care product user. I use nothing but Meguiar's. So with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive to the train station right down the street, park the truck, and take some photos, and uh, might tell you about each one of them. I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and head over there. It's only about 30 seconds away, not too far. Although I might get this red light and hopefully it's not going to be a long one because uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, so I didn't film today's wax job because I didn't want to. It's kind of pointless. But what I do is I have a uh, soap gun. I go ahead and use the Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash Soap. I put that in the soap gun. I First I... Rinse the truck off, spray it down with the soap, agitate it with a wash mitt, rinse it all off, flow the water off with a garden hose. Then I use my Adams air dryer. I dry the vehicle. Sometimes I use a chamois to wipe off the excess water. Today I didn't because since I was going to wax it, I didn't need to completely dry it. So then I waxed it, wiped the wax Applied the wax with a orbital 9 inch buffer with a yellow foam pad. Took the wax off with a microfiber towel. I buffed it with a blue microfiber towel. And then I took a blue microfiber bonnet and buffed it to a high gloss shine. And hopefully I was in the right turn lane. <laughs> anyway, so she looks bitching. So right up here is the train station. I'm gonna get out, take the photos, and then I'm gonna hop back in and show you the photos. So, I gotta waste a few more seconds. Anyway, I'm pulling into the train station right now. Reason why I come over here is because there's usually nobody parked in the parking lot at this time. So I can get some pretty good shots. And let's see what else? Almost there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and park in the same exact spot that I always do. So you may think that this is the same photos from before. Well it's not. <laughs> it may look like it because I'm sure I probably have the same shirt on or at least the same shirt that looks like the shirt that I had on because all I ever do is wear blue shirts. So anyway, here we are in the same spot that I always park in. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera. Here's my little Sony camera, so see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Here's the first photo. And as you can see from a distance, she looks awesome. This one, she's at a slight angle. In case you're curious, the color is satin steel metallic. And the truck is a 2019 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition double cab with the V8 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 engine, disabled dynamic fuel management and an eight-speed transmission, and I believe it is a six and a half foot bed. It might be six foot for some reason, I can't remember. And as you can see by this photo, the hood looks awesome. This truck does not have one scratch, dent, 
No, it does have one little ding on the right rear of the bed. You can barely even notice it. And here is a side profile picture. As you can see, the paint is really glossy. As you can see by the reflection from the white lines against the paint. And here's another side profile from the rear on the driver's side. Here's the tailgate. Some people say I shouldn't let people see my license plate. Well, what's the big deal? Because I drive down the road and you see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And here is the passenger side. So here is the top of the hood. I do have one little blemish somewhere on the left side. I bet you can't see it. And the dealership refused to fix it. I did take it to a paint shop and they said it was definitely a chemical burn. Something dripped on it during the transportation of the truck to the dealership. So that really sucks on a Riverside Chevrolet's part. That kind of pisses me off, but oh well, whatever. And here is my logo for my YouTube channel, How To With Paul Henderson. And here's a nice little shot of the corner of the hood. And as you can see by the paint, it's phenomenal. I'm not too sure how it's going to come out on the computer screen, but when I took it, you can see like every single separate flake in it. And with the All-Star Edition, you get the black logo. I did, however, remove all of the badging because I don't like badging on trucks. It does have LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, uh, turn signals are is just a normal bulb. And here is the engine. I do have the revised factory still in cold air intake scoop installed. I did sell the other one and I have the GM Chevrolet cold air intake air intake. <laughs> I always get that wrong. And here's the side profile of the front window and the side windows and you might see my reflection in the chrome piece on the mirror. And that's it. So I already mentioned how often I do the truck. The, she's turning four years old August 1st. Right now I am currently at 43,153 miles. So if I keep it under 48 by August 1st, I'll be well over, not well over, but I'll be under the 12,000 mile yearly average that they say that you should be driving. My other truck and my Trans Am I had, I was doing about 20,000 a year, so that was kind of a little excessive. So anyway, so that's it. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. If you want to make a small donation to my channel, tap the super thanks button underneath this, <laughs> underneath this video and anything I get goes back in the channel. So I guess that's about it. So I will see you in the next video. I do have a couple planned. The next one will be for this Tevla V, oh, how do you say Tev? Lafie steering wheel to seat belt lock. Here, I'll show you real quick. So what you do is you take this, shove it through the hole on the steering wheel, take this piece, flip it through there, and this is identical to the seat belt latch, and you just put it in there, and they won't be able to turn the steering wheel. But now, in order for me to move, I'm gonna have to take it back off, and all you do is you Put the key in, twist it, push down, it unlocks it, and you're free to go. <laughs> anyway, that's it. See you in the next video, and have a good day. And hopefully, your truck will stay spotless, and I just turned it off. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Bye. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be on my truck. It's freshly waxed. Test one, test two, test three. And I was able to get the blinkers, well the hazards, 
on, so. Okay, I'm gonna do that over. Okay. And let's see, here's one from the front. Test one. Dang it. Gotta do it again. Okay, I'm gonna do that whole scene over. Now I do like this photo here. You can see the reflection of the white lines. In <laughs> how do you word it? The white lines into the paint. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> and here is the picture from the side, and as you can see, the paint is highly reflective. Well, not reflective. It's very glossy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dang it. Got to do it all over. All right. One more time. One more time. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. But it's a disabled. Did I already say that? Disabled dynamic fuel management? <laughs> ah, fucking bitch. Okay. I'm going to get it this time. <laughs> <laughs>